Welcome, my name is Matt, or the Beast 34 and today I'll be showing you how to make your own advanced YouTube banner using Pixel R, which is a free editing software. So, like, I made an old one like this, but it, it was pretty bad when I wasn't experienced with Pixel R, but now I have a lot more experience, so I can show you how to make a much better one. So, first off, what you want to do, you want to go in the description, click Pixel R, which will be the first link, and it'll link you to this page. So... What you want to do from here is press create a new image and name it something. I'll name it YouTube Banner Banner Tutorial. And the dimensions will be 2560 by 1440. And click transparent. And now click OK. So this is the standard YouTube banner, and you're probably thinking this is like way bigger than an actual banner is. But that's because this is for a TV too, but we're not going to be focusing on the TV banner. But we have to make it this big, otherwise YouTube doesn't accept it. So next what you want to do, you want to click on the second YouTube banner, or the link, second link in the description. And it'll link you to this image. And you want to right click it and save image as. And I already have it saved, so that's fine. And then once you have it saved, in back in Pixel R, Control plus O or Command O on a Mac. Anything when I say Control will be Command on a Mac. Then double click on the on this thing, on the YouTube channel banner template. Control A, Control C, X, No, and now Control V, and that is the template. So within this dark area is where all the mobile users will see of your banner. Up up to this lighter area is tablet users will see. All the way over there is what the desktop users will see. We'll be focusing on fitting our banner within the mobile area because more like the majority of people use mobile to watch YouTube. So you want to have it focus towards people who use mobile devices and desktop of course. So next what we want to do is we want to select the marquee tool and left click in the top left corner of the dark area and drag down to the bottom right hand corner and then deselect like and press backspace and that is where we will be putting all the stuff. But before we do anything else we want to add a new layer control O and open the same image and do the same thing, control A, control C, X, no, control V. So this will, right now we'll hide this layer, and I'll tell you when we'll need it. So just unclick that check mark. It's not deleted, we're just hiding it. So now what we want to do is you want to search for your background for your YouTube banner. So what I recommend, something like a blue grunge, or a maybe like a green grunge, like a blue vector background or something or blue abstract HD wallpaper something like this any like cool background that'll be on your banner or you could actually do an actual image like battlefield 4 background and you'll only be using like a select portion of this so just select a little rectangle that you, imagine like a rectangle of what would be in the actual banner you're not going to be using this whole entire image in your uh, banner. So once you have your image, you want to right click, save image as. I'm actually going to be using the blue grunge, and I already have that saved. So control O, select your image, double click it, control A, control C, same thing. X, no, control V. So it is in front of our banner template actually, so we want to put that behind it. So X out of this promotion and drag the history down by selecting the top area and now extend this layer section in the bottom right hand corner like so and now that we have that extended we can see stuff more clearly so now what we want to do is select the blue layer or whatever your background layer is drag it below the layer one and it should be like that so what you want to do now is add a rectangle, so go to this, select the rectangle thing, a regular rectangle and black fill, add a new layer, left click up there, that wasn't a good click so I'll just click out, 
look out of that. And if you ever mess anything up, do Control Z to undo. So left click and drag to the bottom right hand corner, like that. So now what you want to do is change the opacity down to about 50. So click on this little like two bar icon and change it, drag it down to whatever you think is necessary. I'll, I'll do 54, but you can do whatever you think is fitting. So now what we want to do is we want to make a white rectangle, and I'll show you why in a second. But before you do anything, add a new layer so you don't interfere with the other layer. Drag it down like that. And now we want to edit free transform. You can like change whatever shape you think should like be the highlighting text. This will be where your like name will be, like that or something. So we can change the opacity down to like about 24 maybe. And I'm actually going to change this to make it a little smaller. So you can do something like this, like the edge of the rectangle like that if you want. Or you can do something like that. So once you have that, right, uh, left click out of that area and press yes and select the mouse again. So what we want to check now is we'll bring back in this layer. So check it. Check that layer off. And now change the opacity down to like 70 something, 60. So now we want to fit this within the mobile area and not extend it past. So go back to that layer you had. Change it. Try to center it in the mobile area. With leaving enough room for like two little boxes which will have different text. So now we have that, we can deselect that template. Now we want to add two new rectangles. So new layer and a select the rectangle tool again. Another white rectangle, small, like so. Change the opacity down to the same as you had for the rectangle layer in the middle, which was 26 or whatever you had. So 26. And now we want to move it about there. So we'll have more text here. And as you saw at the beginning, I sh briefly showed the image. And it's on the thumbnail of what the final product will look like. So we will like can free transform it to whatever you think is about right. Or if you want, you can make a bubble like rectangle. So click that and select the second one if you want rounded corners. But I'll keep this as a square or a rectangle. So now what you want to do is you want to zoom in with the scroll mouse or go to the top right and zoom in manually like that. So scroll over there. Now we want to erase this so it's not like dark in that certain area. So we want to press E to select the eraser or go up there and just select the eraser. And now we want to drag along and erase the extra excess stuff. If you mess up or something, you can do Control Z to undo and then like keep on doing it. But let's say this brush is too big. Then you can go up to the top left and select a smaller size, like 25. And you can, now you can right click the this rectangle, the little like trapezoid layer, and duplicate it. Now edit free transform, turn, and click out and say yes. And now mirror this and put it right there. I'm going to move it ac actually both of these layers out like so. And make sure to select each layer to make sure you're moving like d different things. And if you have any questions you can leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. So now we want to check again to make sure that's all good. And that it per fits perfectly. And if you want to keep this centered, I would move it over. So let me move it over quickly. And now we can add text and stuff to the banner. So what we will have in the middle is the name. So you want to go to the text tool, press click that. And there's many fonts you can choose from. Like the, there's a classic font, DK Sensory Overload. A lot of people use that for their thumbnails. I'll use it for this tutorial. And, or you can use like, American Captain, like all these fonts. There's really cool fonts out there. 
and you can get it from defonts.com. I'll leave that in the description. And, or you can just look up cool thumbnail fonts. Those are usually cool fonts. So now what you want to do is you want to type your name and adjust the size to 130, the biggest, or a little smaller, depending on what you have. So now that we have that selected, we can just press OK and move that center. And now what you want to do next is we want to select each individual letter. But in order to do that, we have to right click on the text layer, rasterize it, however you say that. And now you can edit and free transform it if you want to make it even bigger than the 130, which is the max. So now we want to use the wand tool, press W, and select each individual letter. So select the first letter, then hold shift and select each other letter. If you mess up, do control Z to undo. And unless you wanted a solid, solid, solid color, you could have changed it back there, but we will be making a gradient. So now, you, now we want to go to the gradient tool, click that and select whichever gradient you want. So let's say you want to do a classic, just black and, black and gray. So we want to select down there and drag up. So now you want to deselect all the layers. So still using the wand tool, you want to right click and press deselect all. And there we go. That is what your name looks like. And again, edit free transform if you want to make it bigger. But we will actually be adding text above it. And for the above text, you can either use the same font or I'm going to be using one that comes with pixel art which is called Alien League. And so now what you can do above is official official channel of in small letters or you can do what your channel's about tips then like a little dot or something a dash or I'm actually going to do a dot so look up type dot or something. That's not image. That's an all. Yes, yeah, so this thing like a dot, so control C, copy that, go back, tips, tutorials, paste it, gaming, and that's way too big, so move that down a little bit, so move back to the tips tutorials layer, and you can click on the text tool if you want to re-edit the color of something, but once it's ratricized, you cannot edit the color, so click on that text layer, should I make it, let's see, white, yeah, white's good. You don't really need to make this a gradient, unless you want to. You can do the same thing, select each thing with the wand. But I'll just do that. I'll ratricize it so it's easier to transform it. Edit, free transform, and I forgot to mention this before, you want to hold shift to keep the same dimensions that you have. But that's like, that's just, that's good enough. So now what you want to do is add the same font DK sensory overload over here or whatever your font was so you could do at real w's34 which is my twitter and get that to fit in that square so now we're going to do the same thing and add a gradient so ratricize the layer and now you can add a gradient gradient and Zoom in a little, maybe. Actually, first we have to use the wand. So W, select each letter. So now that's layer. Do the same thing and gradient up. I'm going to add the same thing at beast34yt, which is my Instagram. So I'll fast forward to that. So now you can add a more text if you want. It's like they don't know what that stuff is. You can add something like Twitter or something in I'll add this in the same font as tips tutorials gaming alien league white now you can duplicate that text Instagram drag the Instagram there so Twitter Instagram I forgot to mention this. If you want, you can actually 
at, go in a layer, click this like little dash thing, and add an outer glow of just like black or something. So that looks like a little more like depth. If you want to do that, that's optional. So then you can add that to each other square if you want. So go back, find the layer, add it. I'll skip past that. So now that that is all good, you are ready to save it. So press File, Save, and OK. And then press Save. Yes. I already had this saved because I accidentally saved it without these shadows. So now what you want to do, go to your YouTube channel. You can press that little edit button up there. Edit channel art. Select a photo. And you want to do YouTube banner tutorial. Boom. And you can press select. And so look on the mobile. It looks perfect. Fits perfect right there. No one will be, it won't be cut off. And that is a lot of problems people would have had. So I'm not going to change it. I'm going to keep it as it is. And cancel. So I'm going to keep it as this one that I have. So now on screen, I'll show you some different banners I made. And how you can get like some different ideas, like different ways to make a, the same banner with the same text.